Hey everyone, my name is Alex Ramsby. I'm an MSP consultant here at Provol Tech. Today I wanted to go over a couple commands inside of Automate, especially in the scripting functions that you may be accustomed to use to and why you should use one versus the other. Let's get into it. So if I pull up this script here, what I'm looking for is normally you would copy and paste any of your PowerShell into an execute script. And this allows you to basically paste anything you want inside of this text editor here, and it will execute all within PowerShell, which is great. However, sometimes when you're running into issues, you may have to run it differently. And I was actually running it into an issue with this and this particular script where you may have to use the PowerShell command and use the one line version of that. And the difference is this is running as ps.exe, so a live terminal and reporting back into the PowerShell result. Whereas the other one is actually writing to like a temporary PS1 file, running it and then basically deleting itself and reporting back to a variable. This is especially noteworthy when you're doing importing modules or things you need to use multiple times. Example in this script here, I'm importing a module called PS Windows Update to then be later used in terms of getting the update history, but I have to run the update history as a ps.exe in order for it to import the module automatically. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Automate. To learn more about what we do, please visit provaltech.com. There's a link in the video description below.